Hello and welcome to the Inside Stories. In a significant move, Shabak has acquired an Amsterdam-based agency adding, while we have seen many global networks acquiring Indian agencies, the reverse is quite rare. And Shabang is making that possible by building a global network, uh, starting with London and now Europe. Um, today, we're joined by Shabang's Harshal and Sohel, along with Addicts Barry and Poon, to discuss the creation of Addict Shabang and what it means for the future of both agencies. Thank you so much uh, for joining me today. Thank you, Karuna. Thank you for having us. Thank you for having Barry, Kun, Sohil and me on your show. Uh, we are very excited with this partnership. Um, so we started discussing, it was a trip to Amsterdam, which I had the opportunity to take. And uh, I was uh, basically just trying to meet with like-minded people in the city. And I sent a message to Barry. Uh, I sent a LinkedIn message to Barry saying, hey, would you be willing to meet up? And uh, he was kind enough to invite me over to his office and uh, show me some of the amazing work that Addict had already been doing in India. Uh, so I would say Addict, without being in India, is one of the luminaries who have created so many interesting brands in India. You know, the entire brand identity of phone pay or the identity of Tata Motors, the global identity of Tata Motors, uh, they've been integral members to building that. Uh, you know, this, they've worked with a variety of collaborators, but they've been so integral to the design process. And uh, when I saw the work and I saw the work that they were then doing with the likes of Booking.com and YouTube and, uh, you know, so many large companies that they were doing such deep work with, uh, I remember telling them, at the first time, Barry and Kuhn that, look, you know, I'd love for this collaboration to happen in a way where they can sprinkle some of the pixie dust of the design quality that they bring. Uh, and by the way, what I love about Addict's design process also is that it's, it's, you know, it's agnostic of screens and it's agnostic of interface and it's agnostic of platform. So it really goes across everything. And that's where I thought it would be a perfect fit to everything that we're doing at Shebang. Infuse a bit of the pixie dust to the large design team and design community that we have in India. And, uh, you know, Prime Minister India, uh, Prime Minister Modi has already spoken about from make in India to design in India. And I think as we design in India, we're going to need some of the top global forces collaborating with Indians. And I believe Barry and Kuhn are those, uh, you know, definitely one of those top global forces that will collaborate with Indians across over the next many years. And build out this company and you know just raise the standard of the ecosystem so that's why i'm excited about this partnership and that's a little bit about how it happened we, you know we we took it slow we discussed uh you know we're us we're not we're not a wpp we're not a dense we're not a very large uh holding company so you know it's more a relationship between people it's uh you know it's it's like like-minded people coming together and uh we we took it slow. I think we took over two and a half years to close this process because we worked on a couple of projects. We worked on meeting maybe four times in person for extended periods of time before we knew that we were a good fit. So, uh, yeah, it's that's a little bit about how it transpired. Absolutely. It's amazing to see India making its mark on, uh, on, uh, on the globe. So... Harshal, thank you for walking me through it. Uh, Barry, he gave me an overview of the work that you guys did together. Can you share more details of the amazing work that you guys have been doing? Yeah, we, we have been working from Amsterdam for India since 2010. And um, one of our first partnerships was actually with Curious. Hmm. Um, and uh, it's still ongoing and we were one of the founding partners also with Curious uh, Creative Awards um, but we found that um, for instance the work we've done uh, with Star Sports for uh, uh, IPL and Match Center uh, uh, the, the IPL broadcast uh, by uh, Star Sports um, to be super exciting and uh, and the energy it gave us, it gave the team and also the opportunity to reach so many people. Um, our 
home base audience is really small. Um, there's more people in Mumbai than in Netherlands. So uh, you can imagine um, the impact it has also on our team to be able to work for such a, a broad audience. Yeah, we're very proud to do so. And um, over the years, we've worked in various collaborations with various uh, partners and studios. And um, yeah, we did have the opportunity to work for some of India's uh, largest and most interesting brands from Tata Motors to Fonpei um, to, yeah, too many uh, to mention actually. Yeah, so we've been working with, uh, with housing.com. Um, we were there when that happened. Um, we did a lot of work for Maruti Suzuki, um, but also TVS Motors. Um, we worked with uh, EXL, um, Data Consultancy Services. We work with Godrich, um, mm -hmm. Jindal Steel. We worked and um, Big Light Industry. We had a good uh, run with them, and yeah, a lot of fun projects and um, uh, and good outputs. I think. It sounds exciting. Thank you, Barry. Uh, Kuhn, I'll just bring you into the conversation. So Harshal mentioned that addicts work is green mm -hmm. agnostic, right? So what do you think is the heart of Addict? Can you tell me the ethos and core values that define the agency? Deep down in our core, we have a, uh, we're looking for a certain wit, a certain intelligence, a certain, uh, that, a certain something that sets it apart from the, the mainstream. Uh, so always looking for that. Uh, and the other core uh, or essential fundamental is uh, motion, because everything we design uh, is on screens, and it's a huge part of an identity yeah, of who you are, and, and it shows who you are. Uh, so motion is uh, one of the biggest, uh, biggest, biggest parts of that. So that's <clears throat> uh, that is a core value that translates or also dictates uh, design that later flows through every. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Thanks, Kuhn. Uh, Sohil, I want to hear from you. After this merger, what kind of innovations are you excited to bring to the table in terms of combining tech with design and emotion storytelling, as Kuhn uh, mentioned? Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, you know, like like Harshal and how like Kuhn, Kuhn mentioned that their core uh, value of the experiential design and the motion design that they do, I'm actually very excited about how we can fuse that with the technology offering that we have. So especially giving that experiential design through technology on our clients' uh, core websites or their applications. I'm very excited to bring that part into, uh, and Harshal said, the pixie dust that can be put on top of the work that we do. So I'm very excited to see how we can bring that into the clients with India and how we can learn from them. Uh, how we can learn from uh, Barry and Kun bring in a lot of experience uh, working through motion design and experiential design. Uh, so what I'm most excited about is how we bring that into our work streams, uh, particularly keen to understand how they have been convincing their clients to take that extra step and go that extra mile on investing on better design, investing on better motion graphics, so that's what I'm most excited about for our team to learn from them and how we can uh, bring in some of their international design into a lot of the work that we do on the creative technology front. Okay, thanks, Owen. Thanks uh, for walking me through the process and everything that I'm excited about. Uh, Harshil, back to you. You mentioned that this merger took over two years to, uh, for you to understand and find uh, similarities and conflicts. So, uh, can you tell me the operational changes that we can expect right now and what lies ahead? Yeah, so uh, operational changes, one is Addict becomes Addict Shebang. I think that's one. Uh, and we are very excited with that, uh, all of us with that renewed identity. Um, you'll be seeing Barry and Kuhn a lot more in India. So, uh, you know, we hope to have them interact with different Indian designers across 
uh, the next few years and that's going to be very interesting um third is that uh, you know we expect them in india i think by the time this video is released they will be in india and we expect them to uh, be meeting a lot of clients and really talking about the design philosophy and the depth of that design philosophy that we see for indian clients uh, simultaneously what we've already started to do is that we've started to work with uh, european clients uh, who are already working with barry and kun to expand the service offering to those european clients uh, whether it is a linkedin marketing exercise or whether it's a tech development initiative so we we see expansion at both ends of the spectrum in india as well as in europe and uh, operationally we are putting together a a team that can work with barry and kun's team uh, while they are based in amsterdam we are also looking to increase capacity of the amsterdam team uh, by really having a team in india which is uh, really top end designers who work with the amsterdam team uh, but work out of india so it's a it's a separate unit that we're calling out these are some of the operational changes that we look forward to see and uh, yeah i think you know just some of the work that i'm very interested over the last few months that adik shibang has been doing is around uh, the pride week in amsterdam you know the entire city was painted in the rainbow colors and the entire identity was created by this team so it's fantastic work or uh, you know there is a uh, exhibit a cultural exhibit inside fabrique lumiere which is the 360 projection uh, and motion uh, you know interactive motion setup in amsterdam uh, which is globally renowned where adik shibang has created a exhibit called the girl with the pearl earring so what i love also about the work is that it's so infused in culture and i am seeing hopefully in 3 years down the line how we can take over ganesh pandal bring that excellence of international design and put it into uh, ganpati or diwali so uh, you know that's really where some of this magic will go so really looking forward to to it i'm i'm excited to see how that plans are looking from the same direction uh very what kind of strategic advantages do you expect from this collaboration in achieving your larger vision for adic Like yeah, we really see this as a as a two way street. Um, so we're super excited about uh, bringing in Shebang's uh, offering, especially the tech side, uh, but also the amazing talent pool that they uh, can bring to the table. Also for us in Europe, where um, talent is getting very scarce, and uh, yeah, we're looking forward to working with. the best of indian talent um and uh that will help us achieve uh the overall goals and we're very much looking forward to that okay uh could you would you like to add anything to that what kind of strategic advantages are you expecting out of this collaboration that aligns with your overall vision for the agency i think the the offering uh that we have uh combined also with our london office uh is um uh, that we have a lot more to offer for our clients we have uh, uh the, the indian design not to forget because that's that's also beautiful we have our own uh design we have the whole tech we have the uh the the, the english copy which is very with for smart and intelligent and uh so we can we can start thinking about uh uh a bigger scope for clients even things that they haven't thought of yet that will make them grow that will make them better or make them shine um that's something uh that i look forward to uh, a lot because the whole technical side uh that comes in now a bit more innovation uh that's that's that that's what gets me going yeah absolutely yeah and maybe if i can add to that is that amsterdam now is is becoming the the startup hub for uh, on mainland europe and um bringing that innovation that uh, shebang has to offer uh through their uh, existing tech skills but also the huge r&d uh, department that they have and uh yeah they're really on top of their game um plus Amsterdam being an international hub 
uh, bringing in uh, that uh, native English um, uh, storytelling through the London office uh, really helps our clients getting their stories across on an international uh, uh, platform or podium. I think Karuna, one more I just want to add is that both Barry and Cole have Barry raised a very, very relevant point about uh, about the London office, and you know it's uh, it's it's proud for us that the London office is quite established uh, in that market now. Uh, you know, uh, starting from scratch to at an annualized run rate of about uh, you know five hundred thousand odd pounds a year. Uh, so it's not the largest office in London, but you know we are proud of the fact that we've set it up from scratch and are taking it there. And then Addict coming into the mix uh, as Addict Shebang uh, with the depth of portfolio that they have, it also sets us up as a base to be a serious player in Europe, uh, along with the with the with the you know twelve hundred odd people that we have here in India. So it's uh, we are building out. For India out as well as India in, uh, you know, we haven't really re- done some a lot of press around it, but we are now along with Mumbai, Delhi, and Bangalore. We are also in Jaipur and we are in Ranchi, and uh, simultaneously we are in London and we are in Amsterdam. So going into India and going out of India is equally important to us, and balancing those priorities as we build out this company is is going to be important. Right, has it acquired a bank to expand to? Europe at this point of time, as you mentioned, you've also had a kind of an office in London. Um, so, what was the strategic decision behind this? What inspired this decision? Well, uh, I think Amsterdam is a simple decision. You know, as uh, Kuhn and Barry said, it's uh, it's really the way I look at it. Is like if for an MBA you go to Harvard Business School, if you want to be an agency of repute, you go to Amsterdam. It's really the skill, the level of skill. The level of depth, the quality—that's uh, really what Amsterdam offers. It's—it's uh, it's really about immersing in creativity and being at the cutting edge of creativity and being at the cutting edge of experimentation in design and technology. Um, and that's what—that's what going to Amsterdam is about. Uh, London is a fairly more straightforward decision because uh, you know it's a—it's a market that has a natural link to India. Uh, there are a lot of Indian businesses in the UK. Uh, there are a lot of UK businesses which are, you know, which are looking for uh, this kind of combination of Dutch design, British storytelling, and Indian tech to be fused together. So we have a proposition there, and uh, also a lot of our global clients are headquartered in London. So you know, we we are working closely with two of our global clients, and you know, maybe there's about the London office is awarding contracts which are to be spread across twenty countries. So really, it's a strategic decision to build more business in London, to secure more contracts, and to serve the local market. And uh, and Amsterdam is, uh, you know, like I said, of course, we we want to do a lot of good business in Amsterdam, but it's also about really, it's a skill, it's it's a skill upgrade game. Also, it's this is, you know, that's that's world class. Got it. Got it. Uh, so we'll ask this merger manager, what kind of work do you want to add to yeah so uh, the kind of work that I that I expect us to be start getting known for is really building uh, one is uh, creating international level brand design um, and second on the technology side really creating those delightful experiences on the web uh, that can really engage with uh, brand consumers so I'm excited that uh, for these two to really stand out in uh, and uh, for us to propel in this on the kind of work that we do on this front. To what Soil said, uh, you know the the work that we've seen on the Addict portfolio. I see us actually. So two ways, if I had to really be specific about it, uh, the the fantastic identities that Addict has already managed to build, you know, whether it is the phone pay or whether it is the Tata Motors or whether it is the work on Math Center Live for Geo Cinema, which we worked on together. Uh, these are iconic brands that last the test of time. So we really hope to build 
a lot more. I'm confident we will build a lot more iconic Indian brands that will last the test of time in the Indian market. And that's why we will see Barry and Kuhn more in India. And, you know, we, we want to work with the top corporations. I think we want to take this opportunity to really talk about the fact that the best skill in the world combined with Indian design force is available to Indian clients. And, you know, we really want to take this opportunity to appeal to Indian clients. or you know, just have us consider us because we'd love to build identities that last the test of time. And, you know, here's a team that's proven and does it and has the fire. And, you know, we want to make sure that we are part of your growth story and we want to be able to, you know, contribute to that. So that's one part of the work that I see us doing. The second part of the work that I see us doing is really embedding in Indian cultural movements uh, like we've seen Pride Amsterdam. We'd love to see, you know, Adik Shabang work with Pride India, Shabang work with Pride India. We'd love to do that Ganesh Pandal as we spoke about. So, you know, uh, immersing in cultural movements is the second piece of work that we see. And the third piece of work, if you really see the work of uh, Adik Shabang, it is a lot to do with motion on screens and Really, that is where the skill and mastery of Adik Shabang comes in is about motion design on screens. And that's where the technology that Sohil and his team build, uh, if we can combine the magic of motion on screen with code working with that magic of motion on screen to create delightful experiences for consumers in India as well as in Europe, that's the work that we see ourselves doing. Uh, Shibang is also known very well for the uh, marketing strategy and you know growth through digital. So we definitely see ourselves contributing to European companies through that. So these are the four legs of work that we see uh, being undertaken through this uh, through this collaboration and partnership and uh, and merger. Yeah. The other, uh, just to add to Harshan, the other advantage that I see is that. Uh, you know, typically we're also known to do a lot of digital work, but with Barry and Kim, who've done, who've done built identities that also not only go digital, but also go offline. I think uh, what we will be able to now do is if when we're building identities uh, and those lasting identities, we'll be able to really cover the entire spectrum of what we can do, not only online, but also offline and really be a, be that agency that or that company that can give a complete package to uh, to our clients. Got it, so well, Hashir. Um, Barry, how do you view the importance of India in the global scheme of things and how does this market, uh, what does this market mean to you in context of the partnership that you had in mind? I think everybody in Europe realizes that um, not only is India uh, the market of the future, it is also the um, the back end of the world, the back office of the world, as we speak, like most, even most uh, Dutch uh, tech startup companies uh, draw a lot of Indian uh, expats to Amsterdam. If you look at booking.com, uh, they have a huge Indian um, uh, coder uh, and developer uh, uh, population. So I think the awareness in Europe um, about the um, the potential of India is huge and also um, European brands or Dutch brands wanting to expand into the Indian market um, will grow exponentially over the years. Also because of um, it's an Ind Indian speaking uh, market, uh, which is easily more accessible than uh, maybe other parts of Asia. Um, English speaking. It's in, it's yeah, it's very English speaking. <laughs> sorry, um, and um, also the the way that the the business doing business in India is so mature, and um, uh, we see India becoming more and more international in its thinking. So it's easier for clients from outside of India to come to the Indian market. Uh, and understand the Indian market. And um, I think that's something where we also see an opportunity for Eric Chebang, uh, as we understand both sides of the globe a bit, um, to sort of combine those uh, knowledge bases on both sides and help clients on both sides who either want to cross over from east to west or from west to east. 
So yeah, that's a huge potential for us. Thanks, Barry. Uh, Harshu, how do you see this acquisition strengthening your position in the market? Uh, well, I think uh, first off, it makes us a serious player in Europe because with uh, over 16 years of you know, hardcore experience of operating in that market with uh, Barry and Kuhn with Addict and now as Addict Shebang, it makes us a reputed force in Europe. So I think that way it strengthens our business position. Uh, so when we go to Europe, often the challenge with companies is that how long have you been doing business here? And, you know, this gives us that sense of uh, kind of ability to say that you've been in this market and been serving this market for a long period of time. Uh, that's one. Second is that I think it also gives a lot of strength to our uh, London office uh, because I think we see ourselves even in London positioning ourselves as Dutch design, British storytelling and Indian tech. Uh, so it gives a lot of strength to our London office. That's the second advantage that we see coming out of this. And uh, the third advantage, I cannot emphasize more on this and I'm so excited. I just, I cannot emphasize on the value to the Indian designers and the Indian design community. And really the, uh, you know, the work being added to really think in, I, I just, I really respect the work that Barry and Kuhn have done over the years. And I really respect their skill. I really respect their craft. I respect the depth of thinking and I respect the width of thinking. What I mean by the depth of thinking is that when they design, it has so much thought. And when they design, it goes across posters, screens, interfaces, uh, you know, wherever have you. So I think that skill and the ability to see things that way is going to be a great advantage. So it has a lot of boxes ticking for us, uh, you know, for a company of our nature, our age, our size to engage in such an acquisition may not be always the right, most prudent thing to do. But because this collaboration was ticking so many boxes and because, uh, you know, we, we, we felt and there was a great amount of respect for the work uh, and we knew that it has it is ticking so many boxes, not just at a, you know, strategic level. It's not just about having an office in Europe, which has been there for some time, but also about the people impact, also about the ability to upgrade skills. And I think that has the makings of a great partnership. So so we are excited for that. And we hope that, I mean, we're going to do, put all the effort to make sure that this is a successful partnership so that we see more and more building out in Europe. And, uh, you know, hopefully Barry and Kuhn can play an important role in that because that is really where this can go. Uh, uh, you know, both of them spoke about Europe having a challenge with respect to skill talent uh, availability because there's a, you know, there's a nature of the market evolving. The dynamic is evolving differently. Uh, so, and really we are the talent market of the world. India is the talent market of the world. So with more and more people coming into the talent market, how can they work with European uh, collaborators like Barry and Kuhn and learn as well as uh, deliver it's it's very exciting it's it's going to shape the way the next few years move um and then then we'll then we'll see because we have a few other uh cards which we've lined up but let let us finish this nicely and then we talk a little bit about what what we do next but it, all efforts all focus to make sure this is good this is successful this delivers to uh to the addict Shebang partnership, this delivers to Shebang as a whole, this delivers to the Indian design community and this delivers to European clients and Indian clients. So all efforts to make sure that we we tick these boxes. We are very excited. 100% Harshal, uh, with uh, Shebang's talent and Indian talent and tech expertise and addicts legacy in design what kind of trends are you expecting to see if one one uh, everyone can answer this question one by one my last question to every one of you uh, just one big trend that you're expecting to see after this big partnership uh, panning out i am going to uh, go first on this uh, uh, since we have started in the in the market uh, some people are not like us, but a lot of people copy Shebang. So I see that more Indian agencies will try to do this. Uh, so I I expect that 
to kick off one trend i will answer this from this business perspective but maybe barry kun and soil can answer from a technical perspective about technical trends they see and design trends they see but from a business perspective i see some copycats appearing good yeah the trend i see and actually what i'm hoping for is that uh for on both sides uh the teams will start to get a more better cultural sensitivity um and uh and get a deeper understanding of um how cultures target audiences and therefore also target cultures um can be approached and i see um i see a huge opportunity there in uh, in tapping into all that knowledge and uh uh and fields of expertise and also um adding to what Harshal just said about the workforce Europe is an aging population and as for India has a very young and uh powerful population so um we we see a we see a huge um advantage there um yeah because the youth is the future so uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's a easy trend to predict yeah <laughs> Yeah. Never. Never. Oh. So you wanna jump in? Come they wanna okay. Uh I'm good. Where is the cover? Yeah, I I think uh, I agree with I I have similar thoughts to what what Barry has to say uh is the 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 European experience and the creative chaos that happens over here I see I see a, I I don't know if that's a trend that you can expect to see I mean there's there are a bunch of trends I expect to see a lot of uh a lot of work happening on the AI front and the creative front that they're doing I expect to see a lot a lot of a lot of uh, creative technology work happening there i expect to see a lot of immersive uh, technology happening possibly uh, through web or through mobile uh, uh, and various consumer touch points uh, that's where that's that's something that i expect to see because that's again something barry and kun have been able to do very well uh, across multiple touch points the identity that they are able to build and how they are able to connect with uh, connect with the brand and connect with the consumer so This is possibly what I expect to see, and then of course what Ashil said, a lot of copycats. So, yeah, that's uh, that's from me. Thanks, so Sohil. Uh, Kun, would you like to add anything to that? In and uh, here in Edex Bank, here in Amsterdam and London, uh, ha- having a. Uh, a separate team in India uh, with the technical skill set uh, gives us the opportunity to broaden our innovations, uh, stuff that we uh, don't, uh, that we can't see or want to uh, uh, innovate. But we now can do this uh, jointly and uh, we come to come to nicer, better uh, experiences for. the audiences of our uh, uh clients so uh that's a huge uh and it's it's all the trends are huh? that the ai and the experiential uh, 360 views uh all that but then uh use these tools because that's what they are uh to uh create uh an experience for a a, a viewer that makes them immediately understand the story or uh, the uh, the background of the the storyteller so it needs to get the story across uh, uh, yeah yeah more impactful so it's 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 not doing innovations because of innovations it's because it helps getting the story across i think i've covered pretty much everything that i had in mind thank you for taking out the time thank you very thank you so much